Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's busy as a bee, cheerful as a cricket, steady as a clock, standing on the rock. I've got my standing on the rock t-shirt on, talking about uh, Hebrews 12, 11, which is talking about how if we are disciplined people, we'll enjoy the fruits of discipline. So let's be disciplined unto the Lord and enjoy our lives. Enjoy our lives more, more joy. That's what this is all about. To, to earn the shirt, you gotta get four perfect Thursdays in a row. So for every day where you get four perfect Mondays in a row, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, when you get four in a row, you unlock the ability to own one of these shirts. Uh, I love my shirts. I love, I love, uh, I guess I'm getting off course already. I love what I call uh, power objects. Uh, they even, even my little, I've got my tiger's eye on, helps me with anxiety. Somebody said, how does that help? You don't believe in that, do you? I said, I most certainly do. How does that help with anxiety and fear and overcoming it? There's no power in this other than the power I give it in the name of Jesus. So I'll, I'll go, like my shirt means something to me, right? Keeping my goals on my mind all the time. My little power objects, they mean something to me. I can anchor to that because I've prayed, I've put it on my altar, I've prayed over it and said, Jesus, please, every time I see the tiger's eye, let me remember not to walk in fear, not to walk in anxiety. So I'm just having fun with my lifestyle, having fun connecting with Jesus, making sure everything in the house, everything in my notebooks, everything around me is positive and inspiring and uplifting so that I can work against my fleshly desires. That's what we've got to do. Hey, Chris got her feeling the healing shirt. Awesome. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Butterfly, I had somebody make fun of me, a Christian friend make fun of me over my essential oils. Like, I got them all over the house. So I got frankincense here. And I've asked Jesus, when I meditate and breathe in the frankincense, Jesus, please let this give me great courage. Let me give you. So anytime I need to re-anchor to that, I'm feeling a little less courageous. And, you know, and we have these things. If we reset our life up, not as the world tried to get us to set our life up, an overindulgent consumerism culture. If we reset our life up now that we know better, now that we know better, if we set our life up, our natural habitats up, all that promote wellness and Right thinking. Think about what our life will look like a year from now. Anisha, I'm trying to clarify that. I've asked the developer. Again, I think that he did it a little different. He thought that I meant it had to be four in a row on a, in a month, and then it, a month with five, it would have to be five in a row. But I've asked, and I think I'll get my way. Not sure. Depends on other factors, but I've asked our web developer to reprogram it so that any four in a row. So we'll see if he can come up with that for us. Hey, everybody. All right, so we'll get started. I've got a quick lesson today. Uh, but before we get into our quick lesson, are there any questions for me? Any, any nutrition or behavior modification questions, it's a great time for myself and our members to connect. If you're not a member, please become a member. Let's do things the right way. Uh, and uh, you, you will have a wealth of information and education and resources at your fingertips. We're still, because we're seeing some, some challenging times for our industry, if you will, um, so please, www.shibolathdeals.com, www.shibolathdeals.com. That lifetime membership is still going on. It's only $49 for beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels and a lifetime of support. Never have to pay again. We're trying to raise money for Shibolath so that we can continue our great mission that we feel is God-inspired. So if you're here and you're, you're ready to get the help that you need, Please come go with us the right way, shibolathdeals.com, and let's be family, and we'll offer you that same amazing support we've offered tens of thousands of people, shibolathdeals.com. We certainly need your help, 
Every time you help yourself here by becoming a lifetime member, you're helping countless other people. Uh, I wish everybody quit looking at us like a weight loss program and look at us like a ministry and a lifestyle because we really want to help people and we really want to continue our mission. So please, please support Shiboleth, www.shibolethdeals.com. Every time you support yourself with a membership, you're also helping us help other people. And that's what God would want us to do, I believe. Uh, and another thing too, if, if you're ever on Facebook, please share uh, our content. Please share it because without you sharing, Shibboleth won't survive. We'll only be able to offer a website that already exists to our already existing members. Um, we don't get our message out anymore. We're being, we're, we're being silenced. There's no other word for that. And we've had confirmation that there's been so many reports about our content that talks about Jesus, love, self-love. Uh, people get offended if you say something about them being overweight, if you say too much about Jesus, and we're being silent. So the ways that we used to get our content out there to help people, we can no longer do. We're totally uh, reliant upon our members sharing our content. That's, that's it. No questions today before I get into our short lessons. If I have a, Chris asked, if I have a recipe I made and want to be sure my categories are counted right, do I submit on the website or the fixed group, whichever you prefer? Um, the We Fixed It group is probably where most people would post that. So the We Fixed It group, we preferred originally the website but it's hard to get people to use it. It's a little more detailed, uh, but I think most people are just using the We Fixed It group. And I think, are you in the masterclass? If you are, you'll learn soon how to modify your own recipes. Nope, not this time, okay. Maybe next time. Uh, I see, I can't tell if it's Angela or Angel. Uh, how can we make regular contributions to Shibboleth? Um, you can go to www.helpshibboleth, www.helpshibboleth.com, www.helpshibboleth.com. And we're about to release our partner uh, section on the My Shibboleth website that you'll have access to, too, if you do that. Uh, we've got people that regularly donate now, and we appreciate them. So we started working on something because my heart really struggles to take money from people if we're not giving them extra. So we've come up with some really great extra resources only for our partners. By going to www.helpshiboleth.com, you'll become one of our partners, and that's really uh, a blessing to us. Thank you for considering. Hey, Patty. Anyone else? Nutrition questions, behavior mod questions. Are you still planning another master class in March? Uh, right now, we don't have enough participation, but I haven't really marketed it. I got to have 20 people or more to make that uh, something that, that is a win-win for all parties involved. Uh, I think right now I've got like 11 confirmations. So I suspect we will. It will be pretty easy as we get closer to March to get 10 more people, I would think. Thank you, Patricia Hurt, one of our great partners and sponsors. We appreciate you so much. Anyone else, any other questions? Hey, April, hello. Okay, I'm gonna get into it. Uh, feel free to ask questions and I'll get to them after the lesson if you were typing one in there. The first thing I want to get to, and I'm not going to show the name, uh, 
So I've just clipped out um, a comment that was in our Shibboleth members only group. Uh, the folks that are in that members only group the folks in the members only group would, if you've probably seen this post and I've been asked to chime in on it for several days now. And I didn't uh, because it, it, I would have had to written uh, an essay. So I'm going to handle it here in this group. And I thought it was a good question uh, and I'd like to clear it up. So in the Shibboleth members only group, there was a, comment and question i'm having a hard time understanding why i can eat a bowl of sugar cereal like captain crunch or lucky charms with fat-free fair life milk as a pp meal that means perfect pairing meal but i cannot use real sugar to make a pan of carb quick or back black bean brownies and have one of them with the approved milk None of us does well with sugar alcohols or other sugar substitutes. And nobody likes the brownies I make with Truvia. From the black bean brownie recipe in the library, they were the wrong kind of sweet and not chocolatey enough. I'm perfectly willing to have desserts for holidays when we can use real sugar, but I still don't understand the part about the cereal. Okay, so great question. So let's reverse engineer, let's go back. And first of all, talk about Shibboleth as a lifestyle. What we're trying to get people to do here is eat whole foods combined combine the right way to control growth hormone insulin. We don't want people eating Lucky Charms or Captain Crunch, okay? We don't. We want one to have Shibboleth perfect days that are up to three eating episodes a day, preferably meal episodes, that are taking foods that grow from the ground and roam the earth and combining them the right way, even carbohydrate, combining them the right way to control insulin response. Does that make sense, everyone? Now, if we could get everybody to never buy a box of cereal again, if we could get everybody to not eat at restaurants again, if we could get everybody not to eat canned foods again, if we could get everybody not to eat uh, processed oatmeal again, if we could get everybody not to eat frozen food department meals again, That'd be great, wouldn't it? But is that practical and sustainable for folks that live in this culture? I, I'm curious. How likely is that that we could get everybody to avoid, totally avoid, any processed food? To avoid sugar, starch, Sugar substitutes, fat-free foods. If we could get everybody to avoid anything processed, would people be healthier? Yes, especially if they understood proper food combining. Like you can have a potato with chicken breast and broccoli, but you can't have a potato with steak and broccoli, right? Everybody, my students understand that, right? Now, my own personal journey, I've worked more towards that. When I started losing weight, it was on approved peanut butter, approved bread, and canned foods combined the right way. That wasn't the healthiest approach, but because I was combining foods right, I got rid of my number one problem. I got rid of my number one problem, obesity. Is everybody still with me so far? I love for people to have good debate because if I can't overcome the objections you have in your mind, it's not that I'm attacking you or attacking this person. It's that if I can't overcome those objections that you have 
in the deep recesses of your mind, you're going to talk yourself out of a blessing. So you can totally focus on nothing but the, the whole foods that we approve. And there's plenty that, that one could live a lifetime on those whole foods and live a healthy life. But will people do it? That's my question. Let me ask y'all this. Out of 100 people, if I said you can only have whole foods that grow from the ground and roam the earth that are sustainable sources, organic, natural, the best stuff, no chemicals, out of 100 people, if that's all they could have to lose weight and be healthy, out of 100 people, how many would be able to do that? So I have to embrace not just right nutritional advice, but right based upon our situation. Right based upon our situation. Patty, I, I can't believe you're 61. You and Patricia Hurt must be drinking the same water. So we've got to have a sustainable, long-term approach to, to, to success. So when I took a look at that for myself and for my clients, I said, hmm, can I get people to forever give up cereal? And my answer was, not most people. So how can we have it and still be successful? Now, let me back up one, just one segment. First of all, there's nothing that you can't have. This person mentions sugar, and they do know this. They pointed out, I know this, but I still don't understand why I can have cereal and not sugar. So stay with me. So you can have anything that you want when you're trying to lose weight. How many times a year? I know a little bit of redundant teaching here, but we need to do it every class. How many? There's 365 days in a normal year. And we can have 72 holidays a year. 72. Holidays a year, as long as our other days are Shabbat and perfect, she can have any sugar she wants, any dessert she wants. If we're really trying to lose weight, is that enough days to take off in a year? Honestly. Because the first thing we have to look at is reason and expectations. What is reasonable and what are our expectations? Joni says, yes, for any reasonable person, 72 days off should be enough, even in maintenance. But we don't, we, we don't, we don't stop here. When we get in maintenance, I can have 100. You'll, most of our people with a serious attitude would not even have to rely on 72 because they'd reach their goal before one, one calendar year is up. Then they could go to 12 a month or 144 a year. That's a lot of days to take off. So the idea that we can have sugar and starch and processed foods every day and survive, this is getting serious, and survive, that would be unreasonable thinking. So the first thing for everybody here, I want you to know, if you're in the weight loss mode, Six days a month, have your sugar-filled dessert. So how we approach recipes that are dessert-oriented is that you're already, think about what I'm saying, you're already, a lot of people want to know the math behind our system. There's more than math going on here in the system. Uh, Kim Shibola will share this with you. She's the one that does our food approvals. And she's, she's doing her job. Joni Mike can pitch in and, and let y'all all know, I drive Kim Shibola crazy. Do you agree, Joni? I drive her crazy. Because <laughs> so, here's why. She, wants a, she needs a math rule, and she wants everything to follow in that rule, that mathematical rule. And if it doesn't, shouldn't have it or should have it. I don't see it that way. 
There's more than math involved here. There's what people will do and what people won't do. Okay? What is their lifestyle like? Uh, if, if a rule says they can never have this, is that feasible? No. So I have to figure out how it is feasible, right? Etc. So let's say that this person or someone here is looking at the math and they go, uh, I don't understand why I can have a bowl of cereal and I can't have sugar in my brownie. Well, I, I, don't, I don't believe that that's the proper way for us to look at it long term. Because how many days a year do we really need sugar-filled brownies? Right? I, I mean, well, but Travis, I can't eat brownies with sugar substitutes like xylitol. No, we know that. So are, are we saying that we want brownies every day? We want sugar-filled brownies on our holidays and on our perfect days? That's not going to happen. We can't do that. Do y'all understand where I'm at right now? Do you understand? No, nobody that I know has to have brownies every day. I, I'm not aware of anybody having a habit of eating brownies every single day. So what I'm looking at is, okay, you can still have your sugar-filled brownie all these days of the year, but if we're wanting them more days than that, then we need to use a sugar substitute, and I'm going to explain why today. But has what I said so far made sense? Because, see, part of learning is the instructor stopping and making sure we're not leaving anybody behind that doesn't want to be left behind. Everybody with me? So they don't like this, uh, the family, and I respect that, the family doesn't like brownies that have sugar substitutes in them. Fair enough. Let's, let's have our brownies on our holidays. Okay? Now, let's say that this person came to me and said, you're wrong about our personal situation. We love brownies every day. We've got to have brownies every day. I can fix that. But I'm not going to fix it for thousands of people that don't need to hear that they can have brownies every day. But if I have somebody and they want to come up with the right recipe and the right daily rules, they can have a brownie every day. I can fix anything for anybody personally and individually. But when we're talking about a whole group, we've got to, we've got to we, we want to accommodate that entire group with a set of rules that work for everybody, okay? Everybody doesn't need to hear they can have brownies every day, <laughs> okay? So we don't want to do that, right? We're not, we don't want, we, we don't want to eat brownies every day. But watch this, a bowl of cereal. How many people through the years not, not every, we've, we've come up with not everybody needs a brownie every day. Y'all agree with that for most people. And then we have options for having a brownie some days. How many people do you know that eat a bowl of cereal every single day before the, before the diet or the program? So this is what I consider a lifestyle, uh, a lifestyle staple for many people. They just will, they cannot fathom not being able to have their cereal. And they need it more than 72 days a year. It's the thing when they get up out of bed that they or their children, they eat and they go. Now, would we rather them have an egg white and spinach omelet? Yes, but they're not going to do it. Some will. But most won't. So what we did is look, is look at cereal. Most of the cereals in our library are not sugar-filled. Go look at them. They're starch-filled, which is worse, actually. But in a bowl of cereal, most of our cereals that are approved per serving, ding, 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 teaching moment, 
because that's the thing. I talk so much, people start tuning me off. I don't blame you, but I need you to listen. Ding, 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 ding. I'm trying to control what every day? What am I trying to control? Uh, a hormone. Somebody help me with the name of that hormone. Insulin. I'm going to get some insulin secretion during the day. There's no doubt about that. But I got to keep it abated. Let me try to find my little rag here. Sorry. Hold on just a second. And I hope somebody will refer that person to this video. I think it'll help them. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm, I just feel like it was a great conversational topic for a class because it makes sense why they would be concerned. And it's up to me to overcome the concern and the objection. So we're trying to control insulin. Okay. This is a growth hormone, a fat storage hormone, and it accelerates appetite. When I spike insulin, how many days, let, let's say that I didn't eat, I eat a meal that spikes insulin, very, processed sugar with, with no other macronutrient combined with it, and it spikes my insulin. And let's say I get high levels of insulin. And then I do not have anything else that spikes insulin after that, how many days does it take the insulin to get out of my system? Two. After the insulin spike, let's say this is two, two days later. After that insulin spike, I don't want you fasting, but let's say that you fasted. The insulin's going to do like this until it gets back down to where it was. Does that part make sense? Now, as it begins to go down, I've got less and less hormone in my system and I can get back in that efficient fat burning range. So does it make sense if I'm going to have an insulin spike, does it make sense, more sense that that insulin spike comes in the morning or in the evening? Right, in the morning. When do most people eat cereal? When do most people eat brownies? Now, all of a sudden, does it become more clear? But I'm not done. So next, most of the cereals that we've approved are in the range of 20 to 30 grams of starch. Most of the cereals you're going to see are less, somewhere between zero and 30 grams of starch. 20 grams of starch doesn't cause a huge insulin spike. It causes a little bit of one which if we're doing a little bad every day, then this never gets low. It kind of stays up here. As it's going down, the next day we spike it. We, then we, even if we're just having a little something wrong, if we never have perfect days, what are insulin levels doing? Are they ever dying off? No. That's why we have perfect days, holidays, and it becomes math. More perfect days lead to more fat loss. More holidays lead to less fat loss. So with cereals, we're getting, we're, we've got this a little bit of insulin spike. You won't find cereals that have net carbs in our library of more than 30. Not net carbs, where you reduce the, take the fiber and sugar alcohol out, check sugar alcohol out of it. You won't find them. So I'm, let's say I'm having my favorite Reese Puffs. Reese Puffs. Let's go take a look at Reese Puffs in the library. Is this okay, okay class? I've got less and less people coming to my classes. Maybe y'all are not telling me what you need. Okay. 
All right, so here I go. Hey. Hey, baby. I know you're about to talk about Reesey Puffs. Uh-huh. But I'm just so proud of you. You proud of me? I'm just listening to you teach, and I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Uh, well, you're just amazing. Oh. <laughs> That, was, that made my day. Well, you are. It's just so cool how you put it all together, even though I've heard it a lot. I just go, oh, it's just, it's just like. You made my day. Amazing. I just think it's amazing. Well, why do they not all come to class? <laughs> I, think, I don't know. It hurts. Because it's like everything is. I want to help. Oh, they are. The ones that are here are here. And, and I don't see where they are. Hi, y'all. But now it ain't going to come say, up. Um, well, you're spelling it wrong. Emma, how do you spell it? Just, re, just, just, just put. Oh, I'll eating. put Reesey. <laughs> Reese's. Yeah, I think it's a. Um, there there it go. is. All right. I'll let you back that but thank you, baby. That was, you made my day. Oh, she made my day. She knows I've been pouting. <laughs> so check it out. So here I have Reese Puffs. I hope somebody will point that person to this video. Thank you, Patty. That's so helpful. So these Reese Puffs, I'm not looking at the, you know, when I, when I look at that box, I'm like, there's no way to approve that, but I was wrong. I was wrong. That's right, Kim. Kim Smith, God bless you. So I've got Reese Puffs, and it says this is a perfect pairing item, and it's a phase two cereal. That means we don't want to start our journey off with this cereal. What does this zero mean? It, well, it doesn't mean no weight loss. That's a good observation. Now, the closer we get to goal, that's more likely. Somebody with a lot of weight to lose, the zeros won't, won't bother them much, okay? Zero means it's not going to hurt us if we follow the description, but it isn't really going to help us. Right, Terry. Good, good observation, Terry. Good, good one, Janice. So it says I can have one cup. Now, I don't know that the label's in here. It's not. But if you'll go look at that label, it's going to be under 30 grams of net carbohydrate. It's a little, little bit of an insulin spike, but how can I slow that spike down some more? I can pair it with what? Egg Whites International, Kroger Carbmaster, or Fat-Free Fairlife. Look at what it says here so everybody notices. Do not eat it dry. We got to pair it with some protein source to slow it down a little bit. Now, it's not going to slow it down totally, but we're probably having this in the morning, most likely. And then we get the spike early when our metabolism's picking up with the spike. Our metabolism begins to diminish after sunset. It would be rare. I know it happens, but it would be rare that we would have this bowl of cereal at night. That's not a normal occurrence. And if one did, it would be an outlier. It, it probably is not something they're going to do every night. If it is, we would look at a journal and we would make some modifications. So what you're looking at, I, like this says whole grain has no, I could care less. Uh, it says, Good source of calcium and vitamin D, I could care less. Bull crap. I looked at the nutrition label, and I said, this is not the best product, but if we're going to allow folks to have a bowl of cereal as a meal episode, then we've got to be able to reduce the adverse impact of it some so that if there are kids out there or parents out there, Having this in the morning, how can we negate some of the adverse impact and keep moving toward our goal? I'd much rather you have a, an egg white and spinach omelet, uh, but we can do this. As long as we're having it early would be best with the right protein source. 
And then at night, we're not doing that. We're having a whole food, perfectly combined meal of some type. If I have cereal, I want it for dinner. You could do that. Um, you just have to recognize that you're going to be left over with some extra insulin uh, and you're not going to have as good of a fat burning night while you sleep and recover. Anytime we eat category three, five, any of the processed, any of the zero weight loss meter items, when we eat those at night, we're going to get less fat burning effect while we sleep. Not that it stops. It's still an approved meal. And, and let me close with this. The person that made that post, again, thank you so much for making the post. It's not that we can't do that for you. But let me give you an example of something that happened recently. Uh, it's why I don't like doing it. A member messaged me and said, I have this situation and I know it's unapproved, but I got to have it. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. So I said, for you, let's make sure and we're clear about it. This is for you. And here's your rule set so that you can have this thing that you want every day. This is your rule set. But please don't share that with the group. This is for you because if you don't also share your entire rule set for that day that you want to have that, then you, you know, you, you'll mess people up. Got it. Well, what do I see in the members only group as a post that week, that item? And someone says, I didn't think you could have that. And the person said, Travis said I could. This is why Kim Shibola tells me, quit telling people they can do something. Cut. Listen, it's, a, it's the entire rule set. It's like a line in a shark day. Once I master a line in a shark day, and I know what that is, I can have full fat cheese. A, li, a, no, a nice quantity of it. If our members are told that they can have full fat cheese, regardless of the rule set, they're not going to lose weight. This is what makes Shibola powerful. But if I follow the lion and, lion and shark rule set on the days I want full fat cheese, I can have full fat cheese. It's not a problem. It's going to actually help me lose more weight. But if I mess that day up with the wrong rule set, let's, let's example, hypothetical case study. Let's say Patty, this didn't happen, but Patty, let's say Patty and Patricia. Let's say I tell Patty, yeah, Patty, here's the rules for a lion and shark day. And you can have Kraft Hunk cheese, the real deal, full fat cheese on these days. But you got to do the fast, the 16 hour fast the day before, the 16 hour fast the day after. And you got to do this, you got to do that. Oh, she goes, okay, but that's worth it to me to have my full fat cheese because I don't like fat free cheese. And then Patricia Hurt sees her post, she had full fat cheese. And Patty says, yep, Travis said we can have full fat cheese, but Patty don't tell Patricia about the other rules, then it's going to hurt Patricia. So we want to make sure as a family, a Shibola family, we understand first how to have a perfect day, which gives the most variety. No, let me take that back. A holiday allows for the most variety, but no results. Then a perfect day, then we go into an intermittent fasting day, then a Tiger 16, Tiger 24, Tiger 36, Lion and Shark. Once we master those days, nothing can stop us. And now based upon our state of mind and situation, each and every day of our life can be a wellness day. Okay. That's right. Pam says we can have our cake and eat it too, just done correctly. Nice, nice way to look at that. April says it's like the game gossip. By the time it gets around, none of it's right. That's right. That's why class attendance is important. That's why journaling's important. Greta says keep the info coming. It's encouraging. 
and puts eating in its place. Travis, you remind me every day that eating is to keep us functioning, not serve as our ultimate recreation entertainment. Amen. Thank you, Greta. All right, that's my lesson for the day. Any questions or comments? Checking Facebook to make sure I didn't miss anything. Amy, hello, Amy. What exactly is an IMF day? Is it 12 hours eating, 12 fasting, or is it more like time like 16? So a, a IMF day means this. It means you followed these rules. Water. Journal. Combos portions, timing, and my personal one is some sort of connection with the Holy Spirit. Bless the name of the Lord. Um, this changed my life, right? Giving my eating, surrendering to Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. So if I follow these rules, if I follow these daily disciplines, what kind of day is that? It's a perfect day, okay? Now watch how we step it up. So when I started, I felt like this is doable for the masses. Would y'all agree? Other than the 72 or 144 holidays, depending on weight loss mode or maintenance mode, this is doable for the most number of people. Anybody that says they can't do these things can I be Jack for a minute? Anybody that says they can't do this, you're lying to yourself and you're cheating yourself. You should embrace eating what you want and being overweight or find you a program, we hope it's this one, where you have some disciplines that are easy, practical, sustainable, and fun and get you to your goal in a healthy way. Anybody that says this is too hard, they are not ready for any program. They're going to waste money. They're going to waste time. These are all very doable, especially when you consider the number of days you can take off. Then the next step up is an intermittent fasting day. That's the next type of day. An intermittent fasting day means I followed all these rules and I got a minimum of 12 hours with zero calories, nothing but water. We got a min include sleep. Did that answer that question? Hey, Odessa. Did, did that, does that make sense? That's the next step up. Like if you're wanting to up your game, that's the next, that's the only other requirement to have a perfect day that's called in your journal an intermittent fasting day. Everything was the same except for I also included a 12-hour fast. Now, we had a question in the master class. What if I have a 12-hour fast, but I had a holiday? Uh, I didn't follow these rules, but do I still get to mark it intermittent fast? No. No. It, your whole day broke down, and now it's a holiday. Does that, does that help? Then we can keep stepping up from there. So any day where I, including sleep, have zero calories for 12 hours and I follow the other daily disciplines, that's a little better version of a perfect day. Newcomer trying to get on board, member for several years. Great. Thank you so much, Margaret. Good to have you. Amy. Then I have done 33 intermittent fasting days in a row with only one being just perfect. Beautiful. Good job. That 12-hour fast, now we want to ramp up and eventually make it to a 16-hour fast. 12 hours is beautiful. You've done a great job, Amy. Great job. Pam says, just want to thank you for taking time to come and chat. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Pam. God bless you. 
We all are here to help one another too. We're friends helping friends. Yeah, if y'all can help me come up with a way that when people can't come to live class, some sort of incentive that doesn't cost more money to get people to watch the recordings, that would be great because I do believe knowledge is power. For me, not everybody, some people just like to be told what to do. But for me, I, I, I know from my wellness journey, which is a, I lost a lot of weight, come off a lot of prescriptions. The more I knew about why it worked, the more likely I was to make good decisions, especially on the days where the scale hadn't rewarded me yet. April, thank you so much. Love you too. God bless you. Thank you. I've made my day. The sun's shining on me today. Brenda, what can I add to water? I'm in a love-hate relationship with water. So, Brenda, we want you to enjoy water because your body's made out of water. But when clients just will not drink their water, I have to go, hmm, let me try to talk them into it. I'd like to try to talk you into it first. But if I can't talk them into it, then I tell them Crystal Life or any zero calorie uh, flavoring system. So we would start with Crystal Light if you just won't drink clear water. Does that make sense, Brenda? Anyone else? Brenda says, I lost 69 pounds back when we were Thrive. Way to go. Way to go. I hope you can come back more. We, we need you and we love you. For those that don't know, Thrive used to be my program. Uh, it no longer is. It hadn't been since. Actually, it hasn't been my program since uh, 2012. Anybody else? Great job. Brenda's down 20 more pounds. 20 pounds. Good, Brenda. Thank you, Jenny. Anybody else before we go? Can a Thrive Shake be your breakfast meal? Is that in the library? Um, Joni, do you know if a Thrive Shake's in the library? Otherwise, we would need to look at the nutritional profile. And for any shake, for any shake that's not in the library, if it's a meal episode, it needs to be 250 calories or less. If your shake episode is 200 calories or less, it can be called a snack. Then your protein has to be greater than or equal to your net carbs. If you want to do it yourself, if it's not in the library, protein is greater than or equal to net carbs. And Joni says it is in the library. Does everybody know how to determine net carbs? Net carbs is your carbohydrate minus your fiber, minus your sugar alcohol. That is net carbs. Thank you, Janice. Okay, Kim asked, is it harder to lose when you don't have that much to lose? You would make that assumption, right, based upon you, the weight comes off slower the closer you get to go. It's not harder to lose. It's actually more meaningful to lose it. But it's coming off slower because you're getting closer to maintenance and you're not in as much of a calorie deficit. Does that part make sense? But here's the thing. When I lose weight today, so, so I used to be 300 plus pounds. This is one pound of fat. At 300 pounds, I was losing more of these than I can now, quicker. In a, more of these in the same time frame than I can now. 
when this come off my body, it made a meaningful difference, but I had so much to lose, it didn't make as much visual appearance as it makes today. Off my smaller frame, it may take longer to lose one of these, but I'm uncovering abs now. When I, when I lost a pound of this back when I was 300, couldn't really tell other than my pants fit a little better. But now if I lose one pound of fat, I unveil veins and abs. And so though it takes a little longer when we get closer, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word harder. And, and when I say that, it's not that you won't catch me using that same thing. I'm also a journeyman with you. And I'm just learning that my speech is so powerful. And so when, when my, my speech is positive and powerful, I'm more likely to continue the right path. But if I start saying things like, it's so much harder now that I've lost so much weight, I may give up. But if I say, it's not harder, it's even better. Because when I lose one pound now, I'm revealing veins and muscles separation and I'm, I'm, re I'm revealing a six pack. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. You know, and I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just, we're all adults here. Don't laugh at me. My whole life, listen, my whole life, I, I was like, I don't have abs. <laughs> yeah, I do. But here's the thing. The other day, right after a workout, I seen some veins right down here. Veins. I didn't know I had veins down there. I mean, I, I didn't know. I'm like, wow. Because now, when I lose one pound of fat and get that, it shows up so much more than it did when I was really heavy, even though it takes me longer to lose one pound now. I hope that made sense. It's better. And that's how we have to look at things. We have to, to get ourselves to engage in productive behaviors. We have to talk ourselves into stuff rather than talk ourselves out of stuff. Thank you, Brenda. Good stuff, Brenda. Brenda, a lot's changed since Thrive. A lot has. It's a much better program. We have at least 20 times more approved foods today than we did with Thrive. At least 20 times. Patricia says, that is why I say battle, not struggle. We have weapons for battle. Amen. And the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty indeed to the pulling down of strongholds, right? Awesome. Love being around God's people. It's very encouraging. Don't forget www.shabolathdeals.com. Please share Shaboleth. We need you. Um, we, we don't need the world. We don't need plat. We don't need any. We're glad that we have these platforms to share the message, but it's just like talking myself into it or out of it. Uh, last year, I got really down about all of the uh, algorithms kind of getting rid of our content based upon people reporting us. And, you know, I was in the scripture the other day and God said, you know, if God be for you, who can be against you? So we're relying upon you to help us get the message out. We're relying upon you to partner with us. We want to help you improve your life and for you to help us improve other people's lives, too. That's what it's about, because. We're all one body. Think about this. I'll close with this. We, we should celebrate one another's success as though it's our own success. Because if you do good, even if I'm not doing good, if you do good, how many of you have been inspired by other people who are doing good? Right? Why did we get in this mess to begin with? Why did we become the most obese modern culture on the planet? because of our culture. So when you have large groups of people giving their self over to overindulgence, before long you get sucked right in it too, right? So as one, as as the as a few go, we all start going, right? 
So we can reverse course. And the more of us that live a positive life, a loving life, uh, uh, us being loving awareness. I love everything and everyone I'm aware of. I love myself. I love you. And I'm going to take care of my temple. The more of us that start that movement, it's better for all of us because now it's easier to do what more people are doing. Like if, if you was doing this by yourself, read about Elijah. It gets really hard. Right? It gets hard. But when you find that there's a lot of people that believe like you do and you can travel with them, it makes it easier. So the more of us doing this together, the more easier it is going to be to change our old bad habits and compulsions. That's why the Bible talks a lot about how the devil uh, would try to deceive the very elect if it were possible. Because, you know, when we're surrounded, I don't care how good a person you are, if you're surrounded with people that are engaged in bad deeds before long, if you get close to the fire, you, got, you get burned too. And I'm not trying to say people are overweight or bad. I'm saying if you're around people all the time that eat what they want, when they want, as much as they want, and you're never around people who have goals and they're showing you, here's how you do it. Here's how you lose weight and be healthy. You, you get sucked into that. And that's what's happened to many of us. And now, okay, we can't keep living like this. So now we got a group of people where we're all trying to help and support each other. We're all one. We're made out of the same particles and molecules. The only thing that separates me from Patty, she, I'm a male, she's a female. But let me tell you, the only thing that really separates us is our experiences in life. That's it. We're the same people, made of the same dust. We'll say stardust. Yeah, FOMO is a real thing that the devil uses and has been using FOMO since the Garden of Eden, right, Diane? You won't die. God lied to you. You won't die. Devil didn't lie. They didn't die right then. Devil's a tricky little son of a gun. Okay, y'all, I'm going to get out of here, go work on some other stuff for my beloved members. I love y'all so much. Thank you for my wife coming in here and giving me some love. I loved it. I got some love for my beautiful wife. It's awesome. All right, y'all. Thank you. God bless you. We'll talk to you again real soon. Love you, Diane. God bless Jessica. Goodbye, everybody.